trip behind the scenes with future country rock blues kings and queens discover them first with palm mash tv palm mash tv Well, hello everybody. It's Palm Mash TV time once again. We're glad that you could join us today. We got another awesome interview coming up for you in a couple moments. But before we get into that, as always, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell, and you're always going to get the latest interviews whenever they're available. And feel free to use the comment section. We'd love to hear from you there. And remember, our official uh, Facebook page is uh, facebook.com forward slash Palm Mash TV. And you can like the page, inbox us, comment everything you see, you see there, and we'd love to hear from you. And uh, you can email us at palmashtv, all one word, at gmail.com. And that's good if you're a band or solo artist want to be on the show, and we'll also, also accept fan mail with that same email. So uh, I hope to hear from you soon there. And we're going to recap all that for you at the closing credits at the end of the show, so stay tuned for that. From Austin, Texas, we have D-Max Davis, a uh, very awesome artist, and I think you're going to agree, and we'll get to that in just a moment, but first, here's a word from Click Jam. Don't go away. We'll be right back. We got history. Got me feeling the nostalgia when you look at me. Uh, hello, everybody. It's time for interview again, and with us from Austin, Texas, we have D Max Davis. Thanks for joining us, D Max. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Uh, we're glad to have you here today. Uh, why, why don't we start with the obvious question? Tell us a little bit of how it began for you as being as far as being an artist goes. I mean, uh, everyone has their own story. Like I said, so tell us your story. Okay, uh, the story began like uh, it came from my parents and me. It's like like my grand, my mother's uh, mother, she wrote gospel music, and my daddy wrote rock and roll music whenever he was in junior high. So mm -hmm. I fought the law and the law won. He got that stolen from him, and he didn't get no credentials for it. So I had to do the, you know, look up copyright information myself and, you know, do that stuff myself because I just went to the library and did that. And uh, I write, you know, true stories about what happened to me, and I can't stand that mumble jumble rap you can't understand. Let me be able to understand every word you say in a song. You may have a great instrumental, but you may sound like crap. And I'm going to be honest about it, you know, and there's a lot of people out there. You can't understand what they're saying. So, you know, the great instrumental may be good, but I, if I can't understand what you're saying, I might as well not listen to it. Mm -hmm. And I just got to understand what you're saying so I can understand what happened to you in the storyline all the way through. And that's common sense. Uh, my favorite rappers, uh, lady rappers, Megan Thee Stallion. Mm -hmm. DMX is my favorite male rapper. Uh, Run DMC is my favorite group rapper and michael jackson is my favorite singer and dancer of all time but but i got a lot of favorite groups out there you know besides that but that's just my types you know and uh i would have loaded did uh a, a duet with dmx but you know uh, he passed away bless his heart but but uh if i could with making this stay and you know that'd, that'd be great that'd be a dream come true too though but uh my my songs i don't give a damn was uh he came from me and my so-called girlfriend I uh, was cheating around on me. I didn't know it, and I found out. So it took me 15 minutes to write the song, and I slammed her on it. But everybody can understand what I said in it. It's got a great beat, but you can understand what I'm saying. You know, the hurt behind it. You know, I'm pissed off. So, you know, I just wrote it, and I, a lot of people could relate to it. And all of a sudden, you know, I, I just started having people say, hey, man, so I appreciate, you know, you doing that. You're writing it and everything because you're a voice for other people. Well, I said, well, I don't get well, to me, I don't give a damn about what I say because it's it's a true fact. If you're going to write about something, make it true. I'm not going to write about something I never did before. That, that would be a lie, you know. And I don't do drugs, don't drink, nothing like that, you know. And God gave you a body to last you the rest of your life. He didn't mean for you to wreck it. I'm not wrecking mine. But I've been taking pictures with, uh, uh, you know, a lot of people. And I would call it fans. And uh, they just love it, you know. And... In 2020, I got, on the third month, the third day, I got signed to Beautiful Danger Entertainment, Beverly Bush, Drake mm -hmm. Blakely, and uh, Cord Orange, uh, a.k.a. Tark, and uh, Farik, and uh, there's another guy, uh, Justin uh, 
the rap and grandpa. Uh, mm-hmm. He's one of my promoters. You know, he's a good man. You know, I love working with him too. And, uh, and Mill Ticket Records, we were in cahoots for them, you know, and uh, it's a real record company, independent. So, you know, I'm, my dream come true about that, you know, and everything. So I'm working on my uh, first six song EP. And I just want people to understand, you know, in the storylines, you know what I say, because they can understand it. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, the times are hard right now. I know about this Corona stuff, you know, crazy with everybody. And you have to have an outlet. So mine's music, you know. And uh, it's, it's always been, you know, something I always wanted to do. But sometimes you may not be able to do your dream right there. And then sometimes it may take a couple of years or whatever, you know, to start doing it. You know, you may have a, a certain position or something come open or a certain job that you can just make, start making overtime to, uh, you know, to, to get money to afford to go to the studio and do your tracks and stuff and everything, you know. And... It's just like that. If I can work overtime to do it, just like uh, uh, Nicki Minaj, she worked at Red Lobster before she went to go into rapping. So, you know, I respect that because, you know, if you if you don't believe in yourself, who else will? And you got to invest in yourself. So Cesar Ramirez owns the One World magazine, and I was in that in the spring year last year. So it's on page 16, and they're, they're great people to work with, you know, and uh, – you know, it's just a great magazine for, you know, for all types of music in there. And they have barcodes in there. All you got to do is scan it, you know, and the music starts playing. But I just want everybody to know, you know, that, uh, you know, there's a voice out there for everybody. Uh, I love real music. And it seems like if the younger generation, they need to understand what they got to do. Because if the 80s was to come back, like, like I know it is, you know, all these old groups, they can teach the younger people. You know what music really is, because you can understand what Run DMC said, L O Cool J, behind us D Wiz, uh, AKA, uh, uh, shoot, <laughs> I forgot his name, dog. Oh, cool Mo D, I'm sorry, Cool Mo D, behind us D Wiz, that was his stage name. But I just been loving music, man, and I want that to make my dream. And I don't mind taking pictures of people, even if I'm at a restaurant. I don't care if somebody stops by and asks me for something, I'll do it because you gotta give the love back. And like if you're doing a show, uh, that's what security's for, you know, to make everybody have fun and everything, make sure everything's okay. You don't kick people in the chest. You don't do crazy stuff, you know. And uh, you go if the artist goes out there, you know, the group, you know, the people love them. But I understand you may have some crazy fans out there or something. That's what you have bodyguards for, you know, and all that. Because today's now, you know, it's just crazy sometimes. But I watched uh, X Factor sometimes or America's Got Talent. Uh, you know, or uh, uh, that Lionel Richie mm-hmm. and uh, Katy Perry and uh, Luke Bryan was that uh, America's Got Talent, I think. But there's a lot of them I watch, and I, I even watch you know YouTube videos, a lot of it, you know, about uh, up and coming stars and all that. And I, I try to keep track of everything. I used to read magazines like Right On Magazine, uh, The Source, you know, stuff like that, but. If anybody, you know, would uh, I would love to have a, a contest going, you know, like if somebody wants to write in, you know, and tell me uh, how much they love uh, music and, you know, why or whatever, I could, you know, send them, you know, 10, uh, 10 copies of One World magazine to them, you know, sign. All they, all I got to do, you know, just give you my address to give to them or whatever, you know, and uh, for them to, uh, you know, write their phone number down, I could give them a surprise phone call to the winners and stuff, you know. Mm-hmm. And get my CD, you know, a sign, because uh, nobody would get that. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, some of those bands you mentioned a minute ago, you know, like Run DMC and uh, Kumo D, I guess you mentioned uh, all those. Oh, those are real good bands. I, I remember those back in the day. And uh, you had mentioned that song, uh, I Fought the Law and the Law One. Yeah, I, I, I remember that as well when I was a kid. Yeah, that was a pretty good song. Um sure. Well, uh, why don't you tell everybody where we can find your music at? I mean, I'm sure it's on all streaming platforms, but if you got physical copies, let us know that as well. Okay. Uh, both of my songs, a uh, couple of my songs were on uh, Justin Case's The Rapping Grandpa's Mixtape CD, March Madness Volume 1. And also it's on uh, Candy Licking and uh, I Don't Give a Damn is on SoundCloud. And also that mixtape is also on Spotify. Mm-hmm. And uh, like I said, I'm working on my first six-song EP 
and it's kind of slow going because of all this pandemic going on. Mm-hmm. So right now, Austin's kind of hard to get to a studio because of all that stuff, you know, and I'm just praying to guys, you know, that one of these studios opened up so I can go ahead and just, you know, get my stuff going on. Mm-hmm. And uh, and I love music, and I just tell everybody, you know, that uh, music can be uplifting, you know, and everything. It can make you good or it, may, it can make, a, you know, adrenaline run through your body like crazy just having a good time. Mm-hmm. And I love great heavy instrumental beats like Metallica. They're a good heavy metal group, ACDC. Uh, mm-hmm. Those two groups, I just started listening to them, you know, about a year ago, and I just love the music. You know, they got great instrumental, and they and uh, they sell out crowds. It, you know, I love all types of music, and uh, I'll give anybody a chance. You know. Okay. Well, that, that's good, and uh, we'll be getting ready to watch that. I don't give a damn song in just a moment, but. Um... Uh, D Max Davis, thank you for coming on the show. We'd love to have you back sometime. Uh, maybe you have something new to plug for us, and we'll, we'll, we'll maybe we can have you back on then. Yes, sir. Call me back anytime. I'd, I'd love to be there. Okay. And here's I Don't Give a Damn by D Max Davis right here on Palm Ash TV. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Pressure that you've been putting me through. 